Today we're going to be making a nice and easy chicken and rice dish that you can make any day of the week. It's healthy, it's delicious, you're going to love it. We're going to be using the Instant Pot to make this, which only cooks up in 18 minutes. So it's a quick, fast meal. Now, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can still make this recipe by using any baking dish and we can pop it in the oven. And the flavors actually are maybe just a little bit better because it's cooked longer and slower. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and we're gonna show you how to do it the quick way right after our chef joke. I have two chef jokes for you today. Here's the first one. Why did the farmer cross the road? <laughs> to get the chicken back. <laughs> so to make our recipe today, we're gonna need some chicken thighs. Now I like to use bone in and skin on, and believe it or not, that's really kind of hard to find nowadays in the grocery store because I think everyone wants to buy boneless, skinless chicken thighs, right? But I like to use the skin on and the bone in because it has, adds more flavor to our dish. But if you can't find them or you don't wanna use it, go ahead and use skinless boneless. You can always pick those up at Costco. We buy them all the time. But on occasion when I make this dish, I do like to get this, the bone in and the skin on. So we're just gonna toss our chicken thighs into the Instant Pot. And I'm just placing two packages of chicken thighs in here. So we're gonna take a yellow onion here and chop it up into just, you know, bite-sized chunks. And then I'm gonna toss that in with the chicken. Now to season this up, rosemary goes fantastic with chicken. And I got this out of my garden, so I'm just gonna peel back those little petals and uh, just, you know, peel them off. And I'm gonna add about probably two tablespoons worth, something like that. You notice how my board is sliding around? Well, you can fix that by placing a damp cloth underneath if that ever happens to you. Works great. You wanna chop this nice and fine. Okay, let's add that to the chicken. Next, we'll add a little bit of salt to that. Nice little pinch. Some garlic powder. And I like garlic, so I'm gonna be a little heavier on that. All right. Now, don't get too excited here. We're gonna add this whole cube of butter. The whole thing. It's not too much, I promise. It makes it taste amazing. Now, the next thing that goes in is some Sauvignon Blanc, white wine. Yes, and you need to have the white wine. I mean, if you absolutely can't handle it, you could use all chicken broth, but you won't get the flavor that you're gonna get when you use the wine. How much do I put in? Well, it depends. I got a, quite a bit of chicken in there, so I'm gonna use probably half this bottle. We'll see. We're just gonna eyeball it in. Not quite half. We're getting there. Okay, that looks good and I'll just toss in a little bit of chicken broth. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. But today, I'm gonna do it. All right, we'll put the lid on and set the timer for 18, somewhere between 18 and 20 minutes, but I'll set it for 18. While the chicken is cooking, now it's time to prepare our rice, which cooks up in about 15 min minutes. I'm using basmati rice, and according to the package directions, you want to rinse that and then drain it, and then uh, we'll add it to the pot. So if you wanna keep your carbs low and you don't wanna have rice or not a lot of rice, you can use cauliflower rice, that works good. Uh, I've done that on occasion, and sometimes I will mix the two together, actually, when I want to cut back on my rice, but I still want some in there. So you could do half and half or whatever proportion you want. It's great either way. Now you're gonna add the, the appropriate amount of water or chicken broth, and we'll add a little bit of salt and then we'll cook it on the stove. Give it a little stir, and then we'll cover it and bring it to a boil. The chicken and rice are cooking away, so we have some free time. I know, we can do chef joke number two. All right, here we go. How do baby chickens dance? Chick to chick. <laughs> All right, it's time to reveal our chicken and serve this up. I'm gonna release the pressure. Here's what our chicken looks like after 18 minutes and that meat is falling off the bone. 
So we're going to place a little rice on our dish. And now for a nice piece of chicken. And you want to make sure you put plenty of sauce on there because that's what makes it. Don't you love how quick and easy this cooked up? I mean, it was just so easy to put together and you just let it cook and do its thing and then out comes this wonderful tender chicken uh, that is full of flavor. That is so delicious, nice and flavorful, very homey. You're gonna love it. The wine mellows out, don't worry about that. Um, you know, the garlic powder, the onions, everything together is just really delicious. So if you love chicken recipes, you might wanna try my creamy coconut lemon chicken. It is really a favorite, and I think you're just gonna love the flavors. I'll leave a link for you here on the screen, and you can check that out. Let me know what you think. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button for me and leave me a comment. All right, we'll see you next week for another rockin' recipe.